just let them kill me. That that was that was as much fight as I had. That I just gave in, and I gave up on my children so easily. How could you do that? And that's when I said, okay, it's about staying alive now. I have to just surrender to the sexual assault. What more can they do now? They're inside you, everywhere. So the only thing to fight for, left to fight for, was my life. It was a fight she endured about 25 minutes. There was no doubt in my mind that I was in the process of dying. I thought, not only am I going to die here, but it's going to be just a torturous death that's going to go on forever and ever and ever. Laura was dragged along by the mob until they were stopped by a fence. how much youth homicide went up by in London last year. Have you told your viewers that? 70%. Have you looked at the mayoral's uh, police and crime report from December the 12th? You look at that, almost every single measure out of 42, only four of them in four categories did crime go down. In every single other area, double-digit rises in crime across London. So you know what? To borrow a phrase from, from Donald Trump, London's turning into a shithole under Sadiq Khan. Uh, OK, I think we'll uh, leave it there. Um, Rahim, I'm sure you will. Here's a random example from 10 days of German migrant crimes in January. 16-year-old boy raped inside Wolfsburg City Hall. 13-year-old girl sexually assaulted near a railway station in Elwagen. Three girls sexually assaulted at a swimming pool in Ansbach. 15-year-old girl raped at a railway station in Wuppertal. Attempted gang rape of a 13-year-old girl in Gelsenkirchen. I can go on and on. These are all rapes in public places, trains, streets, parks, and even City Hall. And I congratulate you on getting big laughs with that, Simon, and you, Louise, because if I'd known that, I'd be doing open night mic on gang rape at a comedy club. It isn't funny. It isn't funny.